recognize that preparing for surgery isn't always easy. In this video, we will review some of the important things to expect while you are recovering in the hospital. I hope that this educational video will help you feel more comfortable and confident about your hospital stay. Pain is one of the most common concerns that patients have. How much pain will I experience and how will my pain be managed? Nearly every patient has some pain after surgery. It is important to have a realistic expectation of the discomfort you will likely experience. Our hospital care team will use several different types of medications to keep your pain at a tolerable level. We work hard to limit the use of our strongest pain medications, but we'll use them when necessary. Before surgery, you may receive a nerve block, an injection that numbs the area that is being operated on and blocks the pain. These blocks typically last between 24 and 72 hours. After the injection wears off, it is normal to have increased discomfort. To reduce pain and swelling after surgery, ice will be applied about every two hours and your leg will be elevated. When you arrive on the day of surgery, you will check in at the registration desk. As part of the check-in process, please be prepared with a valid photo ID and your insurance card. You will be asked to provide demographic information and applicable insurance information. You will also sign consent forms for billing and provisions of care. If you have a co-payment, co-insurance, and or deductible, you will be asked to pay at this time. Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express are accepted. Once all of the required paperwork has been completed, you will receive an identification bracelet. This identification bracelet is designed for your safety and should be worn until you are discharged. A nurse will then take you to the preoperative area. Please be aware that the time from check-in to start of surgery takes approximately two hours. In the preoperative area, a nurse will check your identification bracelet, help you change into a patient gown, and if you have them, help remove your dentures, contact lenses, and or glasses. Together, we will review your medications and you will be asked a few questions. Soon after the interview, a nurse will place an IV in your arm and take your vital signs. You will also meet your anesthesiologist and surgeon. The surgeon will ask you to confirm your surgery site. He will mark the site with a special skin marker. The operating room team will meet you in the pre-op area and escort you back to the operating room. Once your surgery is completed, you will be taken to the post-anesthesia care unit, also known as the recovery room. In the recovery room, you will start to wake up. Because the operating rooms are kept on the cooler side, you may have a warming blanket. Depending on your needs, you may have intravenous fluids connected to your intravenous line, or may be receiving oxygen through a nasal cannula or face mask. While we try to avoid placing a bladder catheter to lower the risk of infection and permit mobility, some patients require a catheter to empty their bladder. To help with circulation, you may have pumps on your legs or feet, and you may have support stockings called TED stockings on your legs. Ice will be applied to reduce swelling. The nursing staff will ask you a series of questions about your pain and the level of sensation in your extremities. Please remember that everyone is different. Some patients have feeling in the operative extremity, and some patients have no feeling at all. You may wake up feeling nauseous. If this occurs, please inform the nursing staff so they can give you medication to treat the nausea. After your monitoring is complete, the nursing staff will take you to your inpatient room where your family and friends may visit you. Once you have been moved to your hospital room, a full assessment will be performed. If you have chronic medical conditions, a doctor, called a hospitalist, will come to your inpatient room to review your history and home medications and ask if you have any questions about your medical care. The hospital care team will ensure you have everything you need for a pleasant hospital experience. Once you have settled in your room and the nursing staff has completed their initial assessment, you will be seen by a member of the physical therapy team. Your physical therapist will ask you many questions about your home and your discharge plan. The information provided will help the therapist determine your mobility goals during your stay, and a mobility plan will be custom designed for you. He or she will perform an assessment, and if appropriate, you may get out of bed and possibly walk the day of your surgery. During your hospital stay, 
you will be seen by both our physical therapists and our physical therapist assistants. You will learn exercises to help regain your motion and strength. Our physical therapy staff will teach you how to get in and out of bed, how to stand up, how to walk, and how to walk the stairs. The staff will ensure that you are able to walk safely with an assistive device, either a walker or crutches. If you need equipment or do not have the appropriate assistive device, the physical therapy staff will provide you with the needed equipment before you return home. Your physical therapy team will have contact with your doctors, nursing staff, and case manager to ensure your discharge plan is safe. Here is a list of what to bring for your hospital stay. Loose fitting clothing, nightgowns that are knee length, shorts, t-shirts, sweat clothes. Tennis shoes or a good supportive shoe with a rubber sole, a firm back, and tie. Avoid tight fitting or slip on shoes. Avoid rocker bottom shoes. Velcro and elastic laces are okay. If you have a walker and or crutches, bring them with you on the day of surgery. Walkers with two front wheels are recommended. If you do not have any equipment, physical therapy will provide the appropriate equipment at the time of discharge. Toiletries, eyeglasses or contact lens and case. A list of all medications with dosages and information of any allergies. This is very important as it allows the hospital care team to continue your medicines as you take them at home. If you bring a pillow, the pillowcase should be a bright color. Phone charger. There is free Wi-Fi service, so feel free to bring laptops, tablets, etc. Leave all of your valuables at home and label all of your possessions with your name. Do not bring any medications with you to the hospital unless otherwise instructed during your pre-admission testing appointment.